Yeah, g'day YouTube, it's basically an AST here. I'm just showing you, I've got all the components made, remade again now, uh, ready to be assembled. Um, the four stainless, um, they 316 stainless too, which is pretty hard stainless, but anyway, yeah, that's uh, 316 stainless copper domes. Uh, we've got the four, the four halves to make the two reactors. Uh, the four copper linings that go inside and the four rings uh, that go on the outside that allows me to bolt it all together. Uh, so what, I've, um, what I'm doing this video for is to show you this jig here that I've built. Now the idea of this jig is to prevent me from making mistakes because last time I gave these to my mate to weld I didn't, uh, I knocked them in position but they were easily knocked back out so when he started welding it sort of they came in and you know, I ended up with a reactor that's not round um, so that the idea of this jig is to prevent that happening again um, so this surface here is the actual finished surface this is um, 30 mil from here to the top of this so what happens because it's a 60 mil ball that I use to press these out so what will hap what happens is the copper lining goes on which is um, like that now you can see it doesn't come all the way down it I hope it's all deep enough it's sort of <laughs> um, touch and go that one I may actually end up making another um, but anyway that's sort of where that goes then the copper sits on top of that uh, the stainless steel ball I mean. then this goes back on now that'll come down oh. further right. so that was just a copper holding that um, stainless steel from sitting back down I actually think that's got to go in a lot further um, I might, uh, I might use a different one, you know, we'll really do that, I'll just use this one here, because that one actually, once it presses in, I may not get it out so easy, so anyway, that's how it sits, you can see the stainless steel comes down past that surface, and that's intentional, um, so these rings, are, when I cut them out, I've cut this inner surface on an angle to reduce the gap, that um, appears on the top, you know, because of the taper of the reactor. So that gets pressed down over that. And I'll put these clamps on. Uh, them all on first. Okay. on like that, done up. Sorry about being in the road there guys, I'm just um, trying to get it together. Anyway, take off. comes together. Right. Right. Now that's all clamped down. You can see the reactor can only it can only go to the depth or come um, down to the depth it's meant to be. Um, don't know if I need to have something. I don't think I need to force that down up this way because it's um, yeah, there's a bit of tension on the inside of that ring when it goes together but as you can see the gaps minimal on the top here um, but that's it I'll just tack around that now and that'll be that'll turn out exactly how it's supposed to be no we saw butts this time so 
um, yeah that's where I'm at so I just thought I'd just do a quick video to show you this jig here what I've made to prevent any more stuff up so um, yeah so I let you know I'm conti still continuing I had a bit of an accident actually I bloody built a metal forge and the bloody uh, the crucible broke and shot bloody copper out of it and being a dickhead I'd taken my glasses off and went to go and get a mould to pour it in and while I was doing that I thought oh, I'll drop one more bit in and I held it with my fingers instead and let it go too early and it freaking um, hit the bottom of the carbon crucible and it uh, broke open and the copper came out and hit the silica brick and it just exploded and three bits of copper stuck to me eye <laughs> wasn't much fun, I had to go and get it scraped off and bloody all that, lucky it didn't end up in the vision, you know, it would have been a lot more different but anyway stupid things we do I'll uh, make sure I do a better job next time, I mean with the crucible, not with burning my eyes <laughs> anyway um, but yeah I'll, I'll stick with my reactor for now bloody impatient that's my problem but anyway, yeah, Spaceman AST out. Uh, I'll keep well and leave some comments if you have anything, any ideas. Uh, still got to make the hole for the electrode and all that crap yet, but I'll wait until it's all welded for that part of it. Anyway, Spaceman AST 